The Kama Sutra is an ancient piece of Indian philosophy, including all things enjoyment, and it is a guide on how to literally get the most bang for your buck. Written by an ancient Indian philosopher in the 2nd and 3rd century CE, it is basically a how-to on sexual position, sexual fulfillment, and sexual enjoyment. It is a guide on how to maximize pleasure and make sure that you know what you're doing down there. So today, I'm going to be going around asking my fellow students to guess positions uh, and the names of various poses from the Kama Sutra. If they can get it right, they win a free condom. Uh, appropriately, Trojans. <laughs> I'm Ansley Hamilton, and this is George Ann Films. All right, so I'm gonna describe one of the infamous uh, positions from the Kama Sutra to you, and you are gonna try and guess what it is called. Now, this position is one where one lover lies head to tail over the other, and each gives the other simultaneous oral stimulation. 69. Yay! Woo! You are right. Uh, so this position is identified by the man lodging his member in the opening closed around by the woman's posterior, and then he takes a hold of her clitoris with the other, and then that's a thing that happens. So if he's like fucking her from behind while rubbing her clit with his hand from the front. Any guesses to what this particular move is called? Good for her. Oh, right, good for her. Any guesses, sir, who I respect? <laughs> You want to take any uh, wild guesses? Do you want to name it? Go ahead and name it. What you think it should be called? What do you think it should be called? Don't let go, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is one of the most beautiful and rewarding positions in the Kama Sutra. The woman standing next to the man wraps her legs more or less high around him, as if she were climbing a tree, with the difference that she uses his uh, appendage as a strong branch to prevent <laughs> her falling. <laughs> <laughs> the lovers face each other, and that's how it works. Any guesses as to what on earth this could be called? Standing missionary. No, I'm gonna go standing missionary. I mean, that's probably what it should have been called, though, because it makes more sense than what it's called. It, this is the climbing the tree position. She was in the description. Uh, but you guys, you guys unfortunately do not win a free condo. Now, this particular position <clears throat> is identified by firmly planted in the woman's rear opening. The man turns around such that he is able to support his body on palms and the tip of his toes, a la planking. A full plank. I would call it. This is so bad. Anal aerobics working. <laughs> <laughs> this is called the buttering position. The buttering. Buttering. It's called buttering. Oh. But congratulations, uh, you have so far my favorite fan-made name of the day, which earns you um, a, a happy fun time. So <laughs> don't spend it all in one place. <clears throat> so this position is when the man's swing-a-dang yes. uh, fills up the woman's open cavern. So what do you, any guesses as to what this, what this could possibly be called? Well, I'm gonna have to go with conjoined twins. Wow, fabulous guess. This is the this is a video it about sex positions. You can do whatever you uh, want. It looks like like um like like prey versus what's the other one? Predator. Predator. Uh, Predator versus prey. All right, all right, all right. Solid. Yeah. Um, that is a game that I played with my friends as a child. So now I'll have that association forever. I'm so sorry. Um, this is actually called the blow of the bull. That makes more sense. Uh, which is hilarious to me. Well, tell you what, I loved your conjoined twins name, it's so beautiful. you get a free condom anyway. I will use these for sure. 
Absolutely. Please. Thank you. You're welcome very, very much. Trojan. Sponsor <laughs> Sponsor us. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun going around and learning uh, all of the weird names that people think that the positions in the Kama Sutra should be called. I had a lot of fun learning about the different poses included in that ancient piece of writing. And it's kind of comforting to know that people thousands of years ago were just as horned up as people are today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I was Ansley Hamilton with the George Ann Films. Um, you can get free condoms just like these at the health desk and health offices on campus. So make sure you guys stay safe and have a wonderful day. Bye bye guys.